Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of the Zodos Windows Emulator for Android, which has gotten massive updates where finally you can play a lot of PC games on your Android device using this Windows Emulator. If you guys don't know about Zodos, it is basically an open source Windows and Linux emulator for Android devices, which is capable of running or emulating Linux and also Windows apps and platform. Zodos gained a lot of popularity because of its Linux platform UI as well as its customizability. And just two days ago, the Zodos Zodas Emulator version 5.8.0 was released. Now Zodas 5.8 is the gaming edition of this emulator which means you can emulate lot of games including new native emulators such as added PS1 Avocado and PPSSPP. So you can directly emulate PS1 and PPSSPP games inside the Zodas Emulator. Not just that but WinLater integration has been added which means that because of the Bionic C mode which is present in Zodas Emulator now, you don't have to rely upon the Bionic as well as Glipsy version of Wine inside the Zodas Emulator that is built in which only works on Snapdragon processors below Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and it is not really stable in terms of emulating PC games. You guys can now go with the Bionic C mode which is the best performing Windows emulator for Android. Termux widgets have been added along with that Wine separation between Wine Bionic and Glipsy into P-Root packages and not just that Wine Bionic upgrades so updated to Wine 10 stable version for better compatibility and smoother performance. With that being said you guys can see this is a special beta gaming version perfect for testing. So what are we waiting for? Let's start testing it out right away. I have launched this Zoda simulator you'll need to enable this option. Option. Once that has been done, wait until the Zoda simulator has been set up. Once the setup process is completed, Zoda simulator will automatically force close and now you'll need to start running it right away. So here we have the Zoda simulator UI as usual. The first thing that we got to do is go to preferences and here make sure to set the display resolution according to your device specification. So if you have low end Android device, go to the exact display resolution and set it to 800 by 600. But for today's video, as I have a flagship Android device, I'll go with native resolution. Once that's done, make sure to scroll down until you find the enable float ball menu option. It will give you this Zoda simulator float menu as you can see towards the right side of your screen. We'll restart the emulator now and start trying it out right away. So when you tap on the start button, now you guys can see even the win later Bionic C mode has been now implemented in the Zoda simulator for native proper Windows emulation on even unsupported Android devices with the help of wrapper graphics driver. Well, you can always go to the quick settings option and afterwards tap on OK, select the processor of your Android device if you are using Snapdragon or a Mali GPU Android device then you will need to choose which version of Wine will you be using. So I will go with the Bionic. Now it is giving an error because the DXVK stuff has not been added inside the uh, Zoda simulator just yet because we will need to start the emulator for that. To start off we will just go and open the Zoda simulator desktop. Now in Zodas the Vulkan wrapper has also been added finally in the version 5.8. So when you open it for the first time you will see a pop up asking you to choose Vulkan driver either Turnip or Vulkan wrapper. So I'll go with Vulkan Wrapper, afterwards choose the hardware option and let's wait until the Zoda Simulator system has launched on our Android device. Once the Zoda Simulator system has launched on our Android device, we can use the Linux environment as however we like it and we can also edit the settings of the Zoda Simulator. We can open the Bionic Wine Explorer as well as Glipsy Wine Explorer which are present at the top left corner. But in my opinion, I do not recommend you guys to use the Bionic version of Wine which is available in Zoda Simulator as it is less stable because in Zodas finally will later see more Glipsy is implemented so we should use that instead. If you want to change settings you can go to XOD settings after a tap on the launch button and here we can change the DXVK wrapper as well as the graphics driver and much more. We'll simply tap on this button and stop the Zoda simulator. Once that has been done we'll go to the start section once again and this time we'll be trying out the win later C mode instead. So once you tap on it tap on the ok button afterwards enable this option. Go back and let's wait until the win later C mode is loaded. After simply go to the settings option, select the box 64 preset as performance, duplicate it and edit it to set the save flags level to 0 and simply tap on the ok button. Once that has been done, tap on the enter button and at the top left corner you guys can see it says win later Zodos. By the way, you will need to restart Zodos simulator and enter into win later once again so all of this stuff gets added on your Android device. Well, let's just go ahead and tap on the plus button and create our wine container. So in terms of display resolution, I will select the 800 by 600 display resolution graphics driver will be wrapper graphics driver where the graphics version will be system not the turnip graphics driver. Everything else you can keep it as default in terms of DXVK, go with asynchronous 1.10.3, set the audio driver as pulse audio and enable show FPS and full screen options. Here make sure to select the video memory size as 4GB, go to the advanced section and set the box 64 preset that you just created right now. 
Once that has been done, tap on the enter button and create your WinLater container. Now this is just like setting up WinLater and when you tap on the play button, the Zodos version of WinLater Bionic C mode will launch on your Android device and you should be theoretically able to emulate some of the PC games that are available. So you can see even inside the WinLater version, there is custom purple theming which means the Zodos emulator team has modified the Bionic C mode. So let's try emulating a game on our Android device. I'll go with Assassin's Creed Rogue, I have launched it, let's swipe back, go to input touch controls and go to import profile tap on the second option and import the best input touch control profile which is the GTA 5 preset once that's done let's go back and here let's choose the GTA 5 on screen touch controls now immediately one thing which I noticed is that the Assassin's Creed game has not started so I'll need to see why the game hasn't started. Let's go to the start section afterwards we'll go to system. So as soon as I open it, it seems that the game is crashing. So the game tried to open and it crashed. Let's try out a different game instead then. We'll go with Grand Theft Auto 4. Let's launch GTA 4 and see if this game works inside the WinLater Bionic C mode special version of Zoda Simulator or not. So here we go. It looks like GTA 4 is about to start on my Android device. We'll go to input controls and enable the GTA 5 on screen touch controls but unfortunately the game is not booting so let's open task manager and as you can see the win later has frozen anyways i'll try launching the emulator one last time and let's see if it works so here we go guys finally assassin's creed rogue has successfully started inside the zodos emulators win later bionic c mode i'll just go ahead and press the enter button and let's get quick started with this game right away and see how well does it actually work so here we go after skipping the cutscene you guys can see the game has successfully started and we are getting straight up 60 fps while emulating Assassin's Creed Rogue on our Android device. With the help of the on-screen touch controls which we are using, the game is running properly and the performance is actually very impressive. We are getting straight up 60 FPS and obviously WinLater Bionic C mode is the best performing Windows emulator for Android devices. You guys already know all about it. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this new version of Zoda Simulator. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.